Hello everyone, this is Jeff Heaton. I'm going to give you my initial impressions of the GTC, the GPU Technology Conference by NVIDIA 2021 fall. The keynote by the CEO of NVIDIA, just some of my initial thoughts and things that I'm excited about that they are talking about. So I do have to say that watching Jensen Wong give this overview of new technology, just the excitement around it and seeing the kitchen and what he's cooking up, it's almost Steve Jobs-like in terms of what the excitement I used to have for the Apple Developer Conference. NVIDIA has really gone from a video game card manufacturer to kind of the center of the AI universe. So it's I'm always very interested in seeing what is coming from GTC. They gave this nice overview of little tiles that show the various topics that Jensen was covering. And I have to admit, there is so much here. Not everything will be something that I will be featuring heavily on this channel or even working with. There's just, there's just so much here. There's self-driving cars, there's the Omniverse, the internal 3D world that NVIDIA is putting together. All these are very, very interesting, just not things that I will probably be jumping into real quickly, but I do want to briefly talk about those and then discuss some of the, the topics that you'll be seeing from me on this, on this channel. Security is becoming a huge issue for artificial intelligence. Remember the early days of the internet? I mean, I do. Some of you weren't, weren't born yet. But in the early, early days, plain text passwords, just naive, trying to share information with everybody. Then you had to put security levels on, on top. HTTP on top uh, became HTTPS. And Telnet became SFTP and uh, SSH. So... The same sort of thing in artificial intelligence. These models need to be hardened and security. And NVIDIA introduced several technologies related to security. This is not an area I deal with heavily. Certainly every model developer needs to be aware of some of the adversarial attacks and other things that, that are going on in this, in this area. Climate change was a major topic of the keynote and basically better algorithms and more hardware to be able to model weather patterns well into the future. Quantum computing, this is awesome. Quantum computing has really starts to feel like it's around the corner. Maybe maybe in a decade or so it will be it, it will be there. Right now we don't have access individually to computers that have qubits on them and Nvidia is creating the simulators, basically, to give you access to quantum computing. NVIDIA has really released a lot of APIs. There's 150 or so that Jensen mentioned. And these are just in all areas. So NVIDIA is not just making the hardware. They are creating APIs that help for fluid dynamics, dealing with mass distribution, Am think Amazon or Walmart, these kind of things where you have automated package delivery became very important, obviously, in COVID. All of these APIs are useful for a variety of industries, but there is one API that, that NVIDIA talked about that I am really, really interested in, and that is the, the Ku Numeric. And that's basically a drop-in replacement for NumPy. This is part of the entire Rapids ecosystem, and you will certainly be seeing more from me on that because I use I use NumPy a lot, and any speed ups that I can get in there without having to change code and still keeping compatible with NumPy is really, really of interest to me. You'll certainly be seeing more on that from me. Maxine is really interesting. This is their virtual assistant. She is this little robot type creature encased in some sort of a white capsule. You see her up there. I have not had real good experience with chatbots in all cases, but here you can see her literally helping these people to order a cheeseburger. And you can tell she's engaged. She's tracking their eye movement. She's reacting to them and finding out 
do they want sides with that? How, and, and modifications to the orders. Because I've seen many, many iPads in the local sandwich shop where they place these kiosks and they expect people to interact with them. And doesn't doesn't always happen. People just go right up to the counters to talk to the humans. Because often the, the bots are good at the simple path, but when you want to modify an order or do something any more complicated, it quickly, go, quickly goes off the rail. Watching the order being placed for the hamburger and fries, that, that was really interesting. The, the technology there looks, looks awesome. I can't wait to interact with this sort of robot in the wild. You can also see Maxine is being used in self-driving cars as well. And also as a actual rendered 3D model and in multiple languages. So she's kind of the heart and soul of the NVIDIA bot sort of interface. Because a robot is not necessarily steel and mechanoid. It's the virtual personal assistant that you'll see at the edge and in the cloud. NVIDIA Omniverse just looks awesome. I just don't get into this sort of programming, so I don't think I will be doing a lot with it, but it lets you take things like Blender and the Adobe packages and, and basically allow 3D creators to collaborate in a virtual world. The virtual avatars look really cool, and it, it, the keynote concluded with Jensen showing his virtual avatar in the I do encourage you to watch the entire keynote. It's it's an hour plus, but it's it's got it's packed with information. I'm just telling you some of the highlights that I saw in this. You're going to see a number of videos from me over the coming coming weeks where I look at some of the individual technologies shown at GTC.